Hey y'all, if y'all wanna see how I got my cute e-girl hairstyle with no toner, one bleaching process, watch this video, it's for you. This is pretty much how the style turned out. Love it. Um, I need my ends trimmed for sure, but they're not as bad as they could be or would be had I not went to the salon prior to um, lockdown. So, got the goodies. I'm gonna do an e-girl transformation. And if you know what that means, then if you know, if you know, you know. Mm -hmm. I have my hair already parted. It's not a lot of hair, but it's a low key a lot of hair. Just twisted this. Um, I should have put some edge control on my edges just so they can stay out the way, but we gotta wing it. If you can see, my hair is already bleached. Instead of bleaching my whole head, why not do just the e-girl look? That last clip was me um, starting the process, the bleach on my ends in the middle, and then I went in and just did my roots because pro tip, always do your roots very, very last because your root is gonna heat up the fastest because of the heat from your head. Do not do your roots first. Um, as you can see, like this side is already starting to process. Question is, are we gonna have to do it twice? Or just once let's hope once i really don't want to do it twice but this is literally just one pack of um quick glue i did not use a lot at all um and i will be back in a second okay so update it's been like seven minutes maybe um maybe 10 minutes total but i did put a 10 minute reminder in my phone as you can see it's all starting to become one color now what i did do i just went in with my gloves and i kind of just made sure to go over any roots that i seen was like kind of dark i don't i try to just uh pay attention and then go through it once again the bleach developer so what i'm gonna do is just wrap this with my aluminum foil you know and just let it sit here I'm gonna make me a nice sandwich and eat a little lunch. I'll be back. Perfect third trimester. We won! I, I think literally I'm not doing too. anything so else. So this is the Ever Pure L'Oreal Sulfate Free Color Care System Brass Toning Purple Shampoo. So purple is always the go-to um, for toning. Okay, so hope that's better. Um, so basically use two to three times a week instead of usual shampoo. Lather into wet hair, leave up in up to two minutes. Rinse, follow with perfect conditioner for more intense results. Gradually increase leave-in time and frequency of use. I love it smells so good. And I now this is not faking. I, I am in front of the sun, but as you can see, so this is what it looks like. I can already see like the purple shampoo is like really helping so and i am going to follow it with the purple shampoo conditioner leave that on for about five ten minutes i'm so excited i did it 
Okay, we're colored. Super right up here in my roots, but I am going to give it about a day to... Y'all can see, um, bleach does not do anything to your curls besides um, loosen them and really give it like a defined curlier look to me personally. But yeah, so basically I'm about to blow this all out and I'm gonna flat iron it on it with this leave-in conditioner, Neo Organic, which I think I posted in my last tutorial. Yeah, my wash and go fail. And then I am gonna go in with this bio silk as I blow dry each section. For sure, two. I mean, one thing. What is it? One thing for certain. Two things for sure. Um, you can definitely see where my roots did process. I mean, on camera, you really well. You can tell on this side, but like, it's just step one. I might go in with another lightening process in about a week or two. Just depends once I flat iron this, wear it, um, roof girl a little bit. I don't know, it depends. But this is pretty much it. I think my edges are so funny, like, it's so, <laughs> it's just funny. But yeah, so this is it. Now I'm about to flat iron it. You can kind of tell, I need my ends clipped, but they're not like horrible. They used to be way worse. I'm so glad I got an intro before like it, we got a lockdown, but um yeah now i'm about to flat iron it and i will be back and that's gonna be that on that am i gonna do my makeup probably so just plus i want to kind of like surprise my husband give him the whole like 10 out of 10 look when i come when he come home from work i like it oh my god i'm so excited but this color really well my hair smells so good as you can see no hair broke off we're thriving it's good everything's cool so this is pretty much how the style turned out. Love it. Um, I need my ends trimmed for sure, but they're not as bad as they could be or would be had I not went to the salon prior to um, lockdown. So yeah, this is it. I was gonna get in front of my light. The sun is gone down. Like I don't use all today's lighting, which I feel pretty good about though. Um, it was a pretty successful day. This took me a couple hours, but it was well worth it. I got a lot of love on Facebook so far. Um, it's doing good on TikTok. If you are not following me on TikTok, follow me on TikTok. Um, and yeah, I'll keep y'all updated with, I guess, how I style my hair from now on, how I protect my hair, um, and how I allow it to remain and you can see, it's not horrible. And I'm not mad about it. I didn't get my toner and I wasn't just gonna throw no toner on there just cause I had it here and it was just gonna kinda like not give me what I wanted. But as you can see, it blends really well with my highlights. And yeah, so this is it. I'll post some pictures in here too when I had the sun. Pretty sure I'm gonna have to be in a protective style for quite some time after this. Absolutely love it. Comment below, what do you think? If you like it, um, 
And yeah, that's pretty much it. Make sure you follow me on TikTok. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, um, show me love. And I'll be back with another video sometime soon. Not really sure when. I, I am vlogging though right now um, on my personal channel and just kind of like getting through quarantine, the rest of quarantine, keeping myself busy and just filming what I am doing. And so yeah. Peace out.